Hi, it's Joey from Day Job Hacks. In this video, I want to talk about the five key steps to setting up a profitable affiliate marketing campaign using CPA affiliate offers. So CPA affiliate marketing is something I've been doing since 2002. Basically, I'm running offers that are CPA affiliate offers. So these are offers that I get from CPA affiliate networks. They generally pay you for um, lead type of offers. So if I get people to sign up as a lead or they'll pay me more for sale offers. So these are types of offers that are different from your typical retail offers like Amazon affiliate program or ClickBank, which is a digital retailer. The CPA offers are a lot different in terms of getting people to just take an action to get paid. So this is why it's very popular among affiliates, but there are some certain things you need to do to make it successful for you. So the first thing I want to talk about is that in order to be successful as an affiliate marketer, there's so much research you can do, but the only thing that's going to make you successful is if you actually take action and just try to set up one campaign. You can sit here and do a ton of research. You can try and figure out if this is the right business for you, or you can just take the five steps here, set up your first campaign and see if it actually works and you'll see data and then you can start making your own decisions. One of the biggest things I made a mistake of in the first three or four years of me actually doing affiliate marketing, it was research overload. Okay, so I'm trying to just find ways to little tricks and tactics and things that might work instead of actually just taking action and setting up a campaign. Okay, so the number one thing you need first to start CPA affiliate marketing is you need to sign up to a CPA affiliate network. So the CPA network basically works as the middle entity between you, the affiliate, and the product owners over here. Now we call them product owners, advertisers, merchants, whatever. Okay, they're the people that own the products or services and they connect with affiliate networks who work to find multiple different product owners and advertisers to put into their networks so that affiliates have an easier time to find offers all in one place. Now the network is also the entity that pays you, but they collect money from the merchants. So finding a good network is important because the network is responsible to pay you. Now there are networks out there that are, are not good networks and they're untrustworthy, but if you're doing proper research and you look for networks that have been around for a long time, then you can find people that you can trust. Now, some of the networks that have been around for a very long time include places like Max Bounty. They are in Canada. They are a very reputable network. They have multiple offers. Um, there's also Global Wide Media, also in Canada. There's ClickBooth in the United States. Um, there's Commission Junction. There's, I'm not sure where they are but there is, they've been around for multiple years. So those four networks alone are, are very popular networks. They've been around. Now, sometimes networks come and go. There have been networks that have been really, really big popular networks that actually closed doors. For example, last year, um, we had Mundo Media as well as Peerfly and above all offers. These networks actually closed down. So you need to make sure when you're looking and working with a network that you have good payment terms in place. They've been around for a while. Apply to them, make sure you give them honest information about you and your business so that they accept you into the network. And once you're in the network, now you are in a position where you can actually start promoting CPA affiliate offers. So the second thing you need to do once you've been accepted into an affiliate network is you need to choose an offer and the niche you want to focus on. Now there is a link below if you want to watch a webinar that we've done in the past about how to choose very profitable niches, especially in the CPA affiliate marketing world. The link is below in the, call, in the description of this video. So generally what I do when I'm in the network is I'll look at all the offers, I'll look at some of the stats like the earnings per click. This is how much money the network says affiliates are earning per click by promoting the specific, the specific offers. Now another trick is you can actually contact your affiliate manager. When you join a CPA affiliate network that is reputable, they are going to give you an affiliate manager. This is your contact inside the network. They will give you advice and strategies on which offers they think would work for you. Now, normally they're going to ask you straight up, what country do you want to target? 
what kind of traffic source are you going to use? Now, if you don't know that stuff yet, then maybe don't contact them yet. Just make sure that you understand how the whole system works before you, you start working with them directly. So that's where we'll get into the next steps. And so now you've found your offer that you think you might like, what exactly do you do now? You have this offer that you think, oh wow, this is great. So the third thing you need to do is you need to create a landing page. So the landing page is, an actual, is actually extremely important. This is your own little website or web page that you're going to send people to that has an angle on it, okay? An angle meaning like a story. Now I've done a complete video on what marketing angles are, especially for this type of um, setup where you're setting up CPA affiliate campaigns. Look in the description below for the video about angles. Now on your landing page, you're basically telling a story. You're trying to convince the person reading this story that whatever offer you're pitching in this story is something that is going to solve a problem for them or be something of value to them. So your landing page design needs to be well crafted, it needs to look professional, and there are tools out there for you to do this quickly no matter what level you are at. There's also a link below for a video instruction on exactly how to set this up quickly. Just check out the description below. But basically you're gonna to wanna to have a good solid headline, you're gonna to wanna to have a call to action, which is you know click here to get the offer, you're gonna have a description about all the benefits of this offer that you're promoting, how it helped another person perhaps, maybe some testimonials. All this kind of stuff helps you to engage the user or the visitor and think, okay, wow, maybe I do actually wanna check this out. And then they click the link and then they go to the offers, actual the actual offer owner's page and either they convert or they don't convert. If they do convert, you get paid for that specific action and the network records that and then you eventually get paid by the network for that specific conversion. Okay, so number four, before we get to the last step, number four is tracking. So you have your landing page, but now you need to know where the people are coming from to your landing page, what they're using for devices, um, are they on a mobile phone, or are they on a desktop, what country are they in, what city, what state. All of this data needs to be tracked. So there are tools out there that you can use as an affiliate that can track all of this data. There are free tools and there are paid tools. Now, an example of a free tracking service would be Google Analytics, but Google Analytics isn't built for affiliate marketers to track ads and all that kind of stuff. There's very limited data in terms of Google Analytics. So what I've been using and what other people use are some softwares which are called third-party tracking softwares. For example, there's BMob, which is a, has a free option for a certain amount of clicks. There's Volume, there's CPV Lab Pro, there's Funnel Flux. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Just search affiliate marketing tracking software and you'll find them, okay? Now, some of these range from $50 a month to, you know, $200 a month, even more. Now, this all depends on what volume of traffic you're sending. If you're just starting out, maybe start with the free option like BMob, where there's a link below for that as well um, for the free setup. And you can see that you can actually just set this up. You, you set up your campaigns in the video links below. You'll actually see how to set up a campaign. In some of our case studies inside Powerhouse Affiliate, we also set this up. So it's not very difficult. You just have to follow the steps. Now, once you have your tracking set up, you are now ready for the most important piece of an affiliate marketing campaign, and that is number five, which is traffic. If you're not getting traffic, you're not making money. So how do you get people to come to your landing page? That is the key to success. Now, there are many ways to get traffic. There are paid ads, which are Facebook, Google, Bing, native ads, um, banner ads, you can buy email, mail outs, all this kind of stuff. There's paid traffic um, that you can use. And that is generally how the bigger affiliates are making a lot of money fast, is they are using paid traffic. Now, there are many strategies in terms of setting up paid traffic campaigns. If you look at the links below, there are some case studies that we've set up inside powerhouseaffiliate.com. You can see exactly some of the strategies we're using for paid traffic. Now there's also free traffic. The free traffic is going to take a lot longer. Free traffic is generally built by creating content online. 
So you're creating videos, YouTube, um, or you're going into Facebook and you're creating a page and you're creating engaging content and sharing it with your friends and followers, or you're creating an actual blog where you're creating content and you're hoping that the Google search engine picks up your content and shows it in the search results. Now this type of strategy for free traffic takes a lot more time because you have to build content over time. It's an endurance test and you need to be consistent at it. You need to constantly produce content, but over the years, as you continue to build this content and this site, you're going to get more and more traffic and it's gonna be more stable than your typical paid ad campaigns. So if you can combine paid traffic with a, a, an organic plan to get followers and actual organic traffic, then you have a stable, more stable business model set up because you're actually building a business in terms of building a content rich website and a following for your affiliate brand. So that is the strategy. There's only five steps. Literally, you have one, you get your CPA network, two, get an offer, find an offer or a niche, three, set up your landing page, four, set up your tracking, five, get traffic, look at your results, and from there, you optimize and scale. Now, now if you want to see this all in action, you should check out some of the premium case studies we have inside powerhouseaffiliate.com. Inside there, we have a free training course, but at the same time, we have actual live case studies showing, of, uh, showing us using paid traffic, setting up actual CPA affiliate marketing campaigns in today's day and age, all the tactics, how to optimize and scale, how to track, the exact ads, the landing pages, you can actually download landing pages, all of this stuff is inside. So check that out if that's of interest to you. At the same time, please leave a comment, share or like this video if you like it, and also check out the links below because there's more content available in terms of how to get this all set up quickly for yourself. So remember, take action, don't do too much research, just try it, you know, get the data, and that is how you actually start affiliate marketing, especially in the CPA affiliate marketing world. Thank <laughs> you.